Hello, I'm Mr. Clark here to present the scholarship in my father's name, the Reginald Clark Scholarship. It's a thousand dollar gift to a student who is not going to attend a four year school, uh, but is continuing academically either in the military at a two year school looking to be professionally trained, or in this year's case, someone who is going into the workforce, workforce first to try to um, figure out which academic area or profession um, he or she might want to attain. And this year's student is a great student, um, a hardworking student, uh, a leader in our school, and a really nice kid. Um, she has joined the RAMP program and will be working this summer in that program and then changing professions. And hopefully that will allow her to figure out which academic route she wants to go. This year's recipient is Leah O'Brien. Congratulations to the class of 2021. This year is a true accomplishment and you should all be extremely proud. Thank you so much for all of the candidates that applied for the Pat Uliva Scholarship. Pat Uliva has dedicated 33 years of teaching in the Lake Placid School District. She's made an impact on hundreds of students. Pat symbolizes compassion, grit, kindness, and dedication. In Mrs. Uliva's eyes, every child deserves the best education and the opportunity to succeed. Therefore, creating this scholarship in her honor. This scholarship is awarded to Anders Stanton. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Gotham. I'm Mr. Clark, and we are here to present the Critical Thinking Award uh, in history. Um, critical thinking in AP US history uh, is being able to draw connections and comparisons and discuss how history has changed and, and remained the same over time. Uh, it's a very demanding course, and this year's recipient did take AP US history and excelled in the class, excelled on the test, um, and most importantly, maybe excelled in lifting the class up in high-level thinking and conversation throughout the year. It's an award that has been uh, around for over a decade, and it's a $1,000 award um, annually. This student was in uh, the Bridge class for economics and was also in Model OAS. She was the head delegate in Model OAS and did an incredible job. She always brought a high level of uh, passion and tenacity to the classroom, whether, whether it was in economics or OAS. Uh, she went above and beyond in every uh, respect. So for her fine work in economics, in model OAS, and in AP US history, this year's recipient, drum roll please, Mr. Goldham, is Marley Dam. Congratulations, Marley. Congratulations, Marley. Champlain National Bank would like to congratulate our 2021 Scholarship Award winner, Matthew Brandis, who will be attending SUNY Adirondack in the fall. Congratulations! Congratulations! Delta Kappa Gamma is an honor society of women educators dedicated to promoting professional and personal growth as well as excellence in education. The local chapter, Beta Moon, is particularly interested in honoring and supporting a young woman going into the educational profession. Beta Mu is therefore presenting Marley Levinson with a grant to help with textbook expenses. She'll be reimbursed $100 of her first college semester's textbook expenses. Congratulations and welcome to the rewarding field of education. It is an honor to present the Sean Cording Memorial Scholarship on behalf of June and Paul Cording in memory of their son. Sean grew up in Wilmington and was an avid lover of music, skiing, and baseball. He was a friend to all throughout high school and he graduated from Lake Placid High in the year 2000. This is the 14th year this scholarship is being offered to a Wilmington student through the Wilmington Volunteer Fire and Rescue Squad. This year's recipients are lifelong residents of Wilmington and truly cherish the town and all our beautiful community has to offer. It is with great pleasure that I present the Sean Cording Memorial Scholarship to Marley Levinson and Anders Stanton. Congratulations. Varsity Club Scholarships 2021, $250 each. The Varsity Club is proud to sponsor four varsity athletes. The athletes chosen exemplify the following characteristics. Dedication to at least two sports. Leadership puts the team before him or herself. Motivated, dedicated, coachable, encourages and supports other sports in which he or she does not participate, 
represents LPHS positively when visiting other sports on and off the field. This year's recipients are Karis Hudson, Dylan Bashaw, Deidre Kellerman, and Matthew Brandis. I'll be presenting a Lake Placid Education Foundation Scholarship. This is a $20,000 award, $5,000 each. The Lake Placid Education Foundation is one of the structures of the corporate complex of the original Lake Placid Club, initiated by the late Melville Dewey. The foundation is dedicated to aid in educational development and motivation as is determined by the Board of Trustees. The Lake Placid Education Foundation honors one Lake Placid High School student who demonstrates excellence in scholarship and participates in school and community activities. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Ms. Samantha Batt. Congratulations, Samantha. Okay. Greetings, members of the Lake Placid High School graduating class of 2021. The Lake Placid Masonic Lodge has selected the following recipients to receive our 2021 Masonic Educational Scholarship Award. This yearly award is based on students' academic progress and recognizes these achievements were attained during a most unusual, difficult, and never before seen academic year. This year's recipients are Isabella Armstrong, Samantha Clark, and Riley Preston. Congratulations, seniors. The Upward Bound Senior Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to students who participated in Upward Bound and met the program expectations and are headed off to college. This year's recipient is Millie Perryman. Congratulations, Millie. Hello, Lake Placid, Class of 2021 and families. My name is Josh Dan and I'm honored to be the Sarah Placid Youth Hockey President. I'm here with you today to announce our scholarship winner. This scholarship is given to a graduating senior who is or has been a member of Sarah Placid Youth Hockey or Lake Placid Youth Hockey, who is continuing their education and interested in staying involved in hockey. This recipient has distinguished herself not only as a player, but has given back to the association. Congratulations to Riley Preston. The D.O. Colburn Educational Foundation. This scholarship was set up by the late D.O. B. Colburn, who was a lifelong resident of Lake Placid. He had a love for the North Country and wanted to provide scholarships to high school graduates in the Lake Placid area. This year's recipients are, for $1,500, Samantha Bett, Ellie Busquet, and Marley Dan. For $1,000 scholarship awards, Isabella Armstrong, Evan Brenner, Deidre Kellerman, Brooklyn Mayberry, Riley Preston, and Andrew Stanton. For a $500 scholarship award, Matthew Brandis, Max Goal, Jack Lawrence, Marley Levinson, Millie Perryman, and Natalie Tavares. Congratulations. The New York State School Business Officers Association Scholarship. This is the ninth year Lake Placid is awarding this scholarship. It is sponsored by the Adirondack Chapter of the New York State School Business Officials Association. This $300 scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to serving his or her school and community. They have an excellent academic record and are potentially interested in business management or a finance career. Today, we are pleased to award this scholarship to Deidre Kellerman. Congratulations. In 1917, Melvin Jones, a businessman in Chicago, created the Lions Club as a service organization for business people to give back to their communities. Today, there are 45,000 clubs and more than 1.4 million members. In 1925, Helen Keller changed the Lions Club to become Knights of the Blind in the fight against darkness. Today, our chapter of the Lions Club International supports regional services for the blind, eye care assistance programs to help those in need get glasses, eye screening to preschool and kindergarten aged children. They also support the local food bank, as well as support youth organizations like the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. This year, they offer two $500 scholarships, and the recipients this year are Brooklyn Mayberry and Dylan Bashaw. Congratulations. The Aaron Green Memorial Scholarship was created to honor the life of Aaron Green, a graduate of the Lake Placid High School class of 2002. Aaron excelled in all sports, but especially in basketball, where he served as captain and was named League All-Star. His 1,390 career points scored him 
place sent him second in Lake Placid history and 11th in the history of the entire region. Aaron's outgoing personality and terrific sense of humor made him a favorite among his peers, both in school and later in the community and at his job at Orta at the Bob Sedbrun. We hope the recipients of this award reflect Aaron's love for athletics and his friendship to others. The recipients of this year's Aaron Green Memorial Scholarship are Nicholas Marvin and Natalie Tavares. This is the Founding Families and Nash Williams Scholarships. Joseph Nash Williams was born in Lake Placid in 1906 and died in 2002. In his will, Nash chose to continue his support of Lake Placid and its students through this generous scholarship fund. Applicants for these awards are judged based on their scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and possible financial need. There are three scholarships and four recipients. In addition, each recipient will receive a recording of Nash Williams' childhood memories of Lake Placid. Here are the recipients. The Founding Family Scholarship is a four-year award. This award is for $3,500 each year for a total of $14,000. The recipient of this award is Ms. Riley Preston. Congratulations, Riley. The Founding Family Scholarship is two two-year awards. These awards are for $2,500 each for two years. That's for a total of $5,000 each. And the recipients of these scholarships are Mr. Jack Lawrence and Ms. Marley Dan. Congratulations, Jack and Marley. The Nash Williams Scholarship is a one-year award. This award is $1,500 for one year. The recipient of this scholarship is Ms. Ellie Bousquet. Congratulations, Ellie. Congratulations to all the recipients. The Apple Award. We would like to acknowledge an honor that was presented at the Adirondack Educational Center graduation ceremonies this past week. Each year, the faculty of the Adirondack Educational Select Center selects one graduating student with the best overall academic record from each of the participating schools. This award acknowledges not only the student's success in their classes, but their professionalism and leadership within their individual career and technical educational program. This year, the AEC faculty selected Jack Lawrence as the 2021 Apple Award recipient. Congratulations, Jack. Hi, it's my pleasure to present the Travis Trippy Science Scholarship. This is a $500 award. Uh, this is the 36th year that this scholarship has been given in memory of one of our students, Travis Trippy. The scholarship is given to students who have an interest in studying science in college and demonstrate the potential to succeed at the college level. This year's recipient is Zachary Gavin. Congratulations, Zach. Lake Placid Rebound Award. This is the third year that this scholarship has been given. It is being awarded to an individual who has greatly improved from freshman year to senior year. This person has undergone tremendous personal growth and has become a confident, thoughtful, and helpful individual. Though they have made great strides in their academics, this is not their only accomplishment. They have grown into a person who consistently goes the extra mile to make the lives of others happier, whether it's a friendly smile or a helping hand. We are pleased to announce that this night's recipient is Max Gold. Congratulations, Max. The John R. Wisner Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been established in memory of John, who was a member of the class of 1982. He excelled in academics and athletics. Golf and hockey were two of his favorite passions. Upon graduation from college, he spent his career working with learning disabled individuals. John passed away in spring of 2008. He is missed by his family, friends, and the many people whose lives he made better through his hard work, dedication, and compassion. This year's award recipient is Riley Preston. Congratulations. I'd like to start off by congratulating all of this year's seniors for their accomplishments and getting through everything that's been going on in the past 18 months. The James W. Cordial Scholarship was created in memory of my dad, James Deacon Cordial. Jim was known for many reasons. He was a respected administrator at Lake Placid Central School. He was known for being a great husband, father, and friend. Many kids knew him as coach or the leader of the Cub Scouts. He was also an outdoorsman and an avid sports fan. This scholarship is not a needs-based scholarship, nor is it strictly academic. This recipient of this scholarship was chosen because they exhibited the qualities that my dad was remembered for kindness, compassion, respect, and a desire to do their best. This year's recipient of the James W. Cordial Memorial Scholarship is Matthew Brandis. Congratulations. The Hillcrest Fund Scholarship. The Hillcrest Fund Scholarship was started in 2019 by Grant Reynolds and Artur Noveleski, both LPHS graduates from the class of 2006. 
It is awarded each year to a senior, senior who is going on to pursue his or her creative passion in higher education. This award is $1,000 a year for up to four years. This year's recipient is Jack Lawrence. Congratulations, Jack. I'll be presenting the Gerald K. Douglas Scholarship. This is a four-year award. That's $1,250 per year for a total of $5,000. Gerald Douglas was a Lake Placid High School graduate who earned degrees at Plattsburgh State and Columbia University. He was an elementary, junior high, and high school teacher, and later he became a principal in Waterford, Connecticut. This award was established in his memory following his death in 2003. 2008 was the first year for the Douglas Scholarship. The award is intended to support one Lake Placid High School graduate who demonstrates the qualities of a future educator with preference to students with an appreciation for music. This award is worth $1,250 for four years, and this year's recipient is Marley Levinson. Congratulations, Marley. The Bionique Testing Laboratory Scholarship is awarded to a senior who is going into the field of science and who has demonstrated high scholastic achievements as well as participated in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Riley Preston. Congratulations. So all students need to complete 40 hours of community service if they want to graduate from Lake Placid High School. Some take it upon themselves to do more. This shows character, time management, and above all, work ethic. Outstanding commitment to make the community a better place is recognized by several alumni. 2021 is the first year for the Alumni Community Service Scholarship. The award is intended to support one Lake Placid High School graduate who completed the most independent community service. This award is worth $1,000 for this year. This year's recipient, proudly, Brooklyn Mayberry. The following students received New York State scholarships for academic excellence. Selection is based on outstanding Regents exam scores over the course of a student's high school career. Each award is renewable and can be used at any college or university in New York State. This year's recipients are Samantha Batt, who will be receiving $1,500, Riley Preston will be receiving $500, and Marley Damp will be receiving $500. Congratulations. Every year, my family and I are so excited to award the Bob Damp Ski Scholarship to a deserving Lake Placid High School student as a tribute to a great man who did so much for the Lake Placid community. Bob, my father, was a member of the Lake Placid High School team and his love and passion for skiing was so evident as he competed in all three disciplines of cross country, downhill, and ski jumping. He even went on to lead uh, and become a racer and a coach in college at SUNY Cortland. But this year, it is so very special to award this scholarship to someone who shares more than a love of skiing with my dad. She's also a damp. We are incredibly proud and thrilled to award this year's Bob Damp Ski Scholarship to Marley Damp, our first cousin once removed. Good evening. I'm honored tonight to present the Bridget Stewart Scholarship, the Drama Club Scholarship, to a very deserving student. This year, the award goes to Anders Stanton. Congratulations. It's also my pleasure to present the Lieutenant w, w. Gregory McLean Scholarship. This is a $1,000 per year award for two years, so it's a total of $2,000. The McLean Scholarship is one of the oldest given to Lake Placid High School students. This is the 57th consecutive year it has been awarded to a deserving graduating senior. A total sum of $120,000 has been awarded since the inception of this scholarship in 1962. It's given in memory of the late W. Gregory McLean, graduate of Lake Placid High School, class of 1956. Lieutenant McLean was killed as a naval aviator. The criteria for selection includes determination, purpose, citizenship, need, and ability to persevere in achieving goals. This year's recipient is Evan Brenner. Congratulations, Evan. The Lake Placid Grange Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by the North Alba Grange. It is presented to a senior who has achieved academic success, has been accepted to college, and who represents well the town of North Alba. This year's recipient is Brooklyn Mayberry. Congratulations, Brooklyn. 
Community Theatre Players Incorporated is pleased to announce that this year's Chester B. McCarahan Scholarship will be going to an outstanding senior. This student has shown all the qualities community theatre players is proud to support. Delving deep into the world of art has brought comfort and a sense of belonging to this individual who intends to combine creative writing and fine arts into what we predict will be a promising future. Your drive to pursue a career that weaves in your passion for arts is what makes you deserving of this scholarship. CTP sees great things in store for this individual as they go on to learn more about their personal expression and show it to the world. Congratulations to Samantha Bat on your scholarship and we wish you the best of luck this upcoming fall at Alfred University. We cannot wait to see you and read about your artistic accomplishments in the future. I'm here to present the Crary Education Fund Scholarships. Bruce L. Crary, who was a resident of Westport, New York, left a legacy which continues to benefit young people from the Adirondack area. He directed that his estate assist with the college expenses of deserving students in need of financial assistance. Scholarship funds may be used for tuition, room and board, books, supplies, and other expenses related to your undergraduate college attendance. The recipients of this year are at $1,200 for four years, Samantha Bat, at $900 each for four years, Millie Perriman and Andy Anders Stanton. Congratulations to all. Donna Moody Scholarship, $500. Donna Moody certainly represented Blue Bomber Pride at all times, and she has given so much to our school community. We continue to give a scholarship in her name through the Varsity Club based on love, integrity, sportsmanship, and determination she showed every day in her career as a teacher, coach, and athletic director. The Donna Moody Scholarship goes to Natalie Tavares. I am here today to present the Wren Award to the class of 2021. And to do that, I'm standing along Lake Colby here in Saranac Lake where Ren and I spent hours and hours swimming, hiking, adventuring, exploring, birding, and everything else we used to do. The Ren Award. The school dog in the Lake Placid Middle and High School for four school years until January 2019, Ren, a.k.a. Rentit, a.k.a. Rentit Doggles, was everyone's friend. Always excited for each school day to begin, busy walking to busy hallways and two people calling her name from nearby classrooms, Ren, Ren, and happily gobbling down treats to teachers be placed in the booths from out the door. And your teachers who did that know who they are. Her joyful demeanor and wagging disposition filled every room she entered with smiles, and she left us all feeling better about ourselves and our lives. After all, Ren had a way of accepting us for who we were and for showing us kindness, gentleness, and love, things we all need to share with one another. To Ren, it did not matter whether you were a straight-A student, a captain or star of the hockey, soccer, cross-country, or any other team, or if you were a person who was struggling with life, school, or just getting through your day. She simply accepted and loved you because she loved you. Because she loved you. This award is presented to students, chosen by your teachers, and I might add that this year's class is awesome. We've got a lot of well-deserving folks in it who exemplify and demonstrate such caring for others and who display characteristics such as kindness, gentleness, and love to those around them. Congratulations this year to Ellie Bousquet and Andrew Stan, even though he is a Yankees fan. The Lucy Family Scholarship is awarded to a student who has achieved outstanding performance in academics and demonstrated excellence in a co-curricular activity. The scholarship is for $1,000 per year for four years while the student attends college. We are pleased to present Isabella Armstrong with the Lucy Family Scholarship. Your commitment in the classroom, as well as being a three-sport athlete, participating in chorus, women's ensemble, and the drama program make you a wonderful candidate for this scholarship. Congratulations, Izzy. <laughs> My name is Connor Presson, and I'm here to present the Bobby Presson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship, in memory of my father, has been awarded for the last 23 years. Throughout the 23 years, we have awarded an excess of $80,000 to deserving seniors from both the Lake Placid and Saranac Lake School Districts. This year, 2021, will be the final year that this scholarship is awarded. With that, our family would like to thank the community for supporting the Bobby Presson Memorial Golf Tournament and other fundraising events that help make this scholarship possible. The criteria in selecting the recipient for the scholarship is as follows. A hardworking student involved in athletics throughout their high school career, one who is a good leader and a good friend, and one who cares for their community and will continue to give back beyond high school. It is with pride that I award the final Bobby Preston Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 to his niece and my cousin, Riley Preston. Congrats, Riley. The Certificate of Achievement for the National Green Schools Society is presented to Deidre Kellerman.
The Coach's Special Recognition Award is presented to a senior who has made a valuable contribution to LPHS athletics and or athletics at a higher level. This year's recipient is Jack Lawrence. The Coach's Sportsmanship Award is awarded to students for outstanding sportsmanship in athletics. This year's recipients are Evan Brenner and Karis Hudson. The Bud Colby Award is awarded to a junior or senior who contributes to all sports for leadership, citizenship, and outstanding behavior. This year's recipients are Dylan Bashaw and Matthew Brandis. The John R. Carnell Award is awarded to a senior for outstanding achievement in athletics and general leadership. This year's recipients are Riley Preston and Andrew Stanton. Each year, a student's artwork is selected to be hung around the school. This year, a piece by Andrew Stanton was selected. The following students were recognized by the Franklin Essex Hamilton BOCE for their academic excellence. Congratulations, Isabella Armstrong, Samantha Batt, Ellie Bousquet, Grace Crawford, Marley Damp, Karis Hudson, Sam Lee, Riley Preston, and Andrew Stanton. Good morning. On behalf of the Lake Placid Youth Athletic Association, I'd like to announce the three winners of the 2021 LPYAA Scholarship. Maddie Brandis, Riley Preston, and Andrew Stanton. Congratulations and best of luck to all seniors. Hi, my name is Emily McConvey and I am presenting the Alumni Association Award. This award is given each year to a senior boy and senior girl who have achieved scholastically, have a positive attitude towards school and community, fine character, and are involved in various extracurricular activities. The selection is first done via ballots cast by the students and our staff and then by the Alumni Association Scholarship Committee. This is a coveted award because of its recognition by the peer group and the alumni of Lake Placid High School. This year's awards go to Riley Preston and Andrew Stanton. Congratulations to you both. Nursing Educational Memorial Fund Scholarship. The Nursing Educational Memorial Fund offers a scholarship to a student in good standing who is pursuing a career in nursing. It is given to a graduate pursuing the profession of nursing who has been accepted full-time in the nursing major. This scholarship is for $1,000, providing the recipient is entering the registered nurse curriculum. The recipient is eligible to receive the scholarship in the future as long as she remains full-time in the nursing program. This year, I am proud to present the scholarship to Samantha Clark. Hi, I'm Natalie Colby, and I'm here to present the Lake Placid Teachers Union Scholarship. This year's $400 scholarship is being awarded to Marley Levinson. Marley was a student of mine in second grade years ago and came back this year to work with me on her senior project as she enters the field of education. Congratulations!